Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And I recently had a patron that asked me to help them with a file where they couldn't select all of the pieces because, well, the parts of it were too close together. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And this will be a quick video today, <laughs> for sure. But uh, we're going to jump right straight into Lightburn, and I'm going to show you some of the features of the selection tool. So let's do that right now. Okay, so this is the file that my patron sent me, and I wanted to use the same exact file. And he was having a problem separating all of these pieces because when he got the file, once you ungroup it once, everything ungroups as you can see there if i zoom way in here so you can see that every little piece here is a separate piece after ungrouping it he was having trouble and wanted some help on how to select that now hang on through the video because i've got some other tips that i'm going to share with you on selecting items so if you came from here and you dragged over everything here it looks like it selected everything, right? And it did, so that one's okay. <laughs> well, let's just group that one, being that we know that it's all completely selected. But let's come to a different one, like over here. Now you can see that some of these parts hang over these parts over here. So if I were to drag from left to right, which selects everything that's within that, that box there, the red box, you'll see that some of the other parts are gonna get selected as well. Well, there are two ways that you can address this. And the best way is to just hold down the control key and drag over these parts right here to deselect them. So if you hold shift, you can select more. If you hold control, you can deselect. So now that I've deselected those, we can take and see if we've deselected everything. And I can tell you, I haven't because you see that one piece that's still got the Vegas lights going around it. Well, that one piece was not selected. So I'm going to hold control one more time and drag over that one piece. And you see how that deselected? So now we should have, and the way to tell is to drag it off. And you'll see nothing is left behind. So we now have one entire angel there. So I'm just going to group that one as well and move it off to the side. So here's a little more complicated one right here. And what you can do, you can do it a different way. You can drag from right to left and come across this way. That'll select everything that it touches. You, you notice that I'm not touching the angel to the left. So I can do that. And then I can drag right to left this way and look around and see see these pieces are missing right here so all of these pieces were not selected so i can hold shift now and drag from right to left once again and select these pieces that haven't been selected and you'll notice that up here we've got more pieces that haven't been selected so i'm just going to hold shift one more time and drag across those. Now I believe I have all of the pieces. So let's move it and see. Yes, I do. So I'll group that one. And we'll move this one off to the side. Now I'm going to show you something that's slightly different now. And this has nothing to do with these angels. But if we were to take this angel here and put it on another layer, so we'll put it onto the blue layer like that, and let me come over to cuts and layers and just put that into line so it looks like the rest of them. Let me make this a little bigger. Okay, there we go. So now we've got two different colors on here. And if, for instance, this one somehow gets on top of another one, we can always just come up here to the two layers, hold down shift, and click on the layer we would like to select. So if I hold shift and click on the blue layer, you'll notice that it just selected everything on the blue layer. And if we have more than one item on the blue layer, so let's put this one on the blue as well, and then come back over here. 
and hold shift and click on this blue layer right over here while holding shift it selects both of those i could move the black out of the way by doing the same thing holding shift and clicking on the black layer and then i can move it out of the way everything on the black layer gets selected so i told you that this was going to be a short video today and i think that this particular question that I got from my patron is going to apply to a lot of people. A lot of people have uh, trouble selecting different parts of their design. And the best way to design is with different layers. That way you can move entire layers at a time. So I hope this video helped you today. And I'll take a couple moments now to put up some links on the screen so I can do some self-promotion in the meanwhile. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And as always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Stick around for the self-promotion. Down in the bayou where the gators roam Lived a hobby guy by the name of Rich alone He had a laser engraver like no one else could boast Birded patterns on wood from the southern coast Rich was a Louisiana my man with a Cajun soul. He'd work all day and party all night. That was his goal. He'd fire up his machine with a crackling spark and engrave the night away in his mark.